If you've been watching YouTube recently, then I'm sure you've seen some of the incredible things that people are doing with AI right now, including making some awesome digital art. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Midjourney to create some amazing art of your own. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, we're going to go to midjourney.com and go ahead and sign up for a Midjourney account. All right, so I'm just going to click on join the beta. And here you'll see that it's taking us to a Discord website. And here we're going to go ahead and create a username and just a regular account, just like uh, signing up for any other account. All right, so we've got our email verified and we're going to go ahead and hit continue to Discord. And I already downloaded the Discord app um, for MacBook, or sorry, for uh, Mac OS, but you can either do it in the browser or download it as well. All right, so now we've got our Discord app open. We've got Midjourney up, and we're going to want to click on one of the uh, newcomer rooms. Well, and if you are new to Discord, this is how you get to Midjourney. You see here the logo. Um, and we're going to click on one of the newcomer rooms, which is where we can kind of start messing around and see what we can create. So first I'm going to go ahead and um, adjust the settings. And so here we just have some basic settings. So we're using Midjourney version 4. We want the base quality. Um, we left the style at medium. And a regular upscale. And just kind of rolling with the standard settings, but that's how you would change your settings here. And um, that will probably be explained a little bit more in future videos that I create, but we're just gonna go with this for today. And so in the newbie rooms, there's a lot of people working at once. You can see tons of messages are coming in all at the same time, and it can get a little bit overwhelming. Um, so you kind of have to keep track of things, and that's one of the advantages of paying for an account is you can have a private chat and it'll just make it a lot easier to keep track of what you create. But um, this is what we're working with for now and I just wanna show everyone how to get started with the basics without having to spend any money. So we're gonna do it here in the newbie room. So to create our first design, what we're gonna do is use the prompt imagine. So we're gonna do forward slash imagine and then for our prompt, um, Let's come up with, I kind of want to do like a minimalist logo of a national park kind of idea. So um, here's what I had in mind. So I'm going to try sunsets in the Grand Canyon vector art. Um, and then let's say 2D sticker minimalist. And let's see what we can come up with. And so here it's gonna take a little while, so I'll come back once that's all loaded. All right, so you'll see here we got our designs and these are looking really cool actually. Um, this is pretty much exactly what I had in mind. These have a little bit more detail than I expected. Um, but this is a really great start and this is a great place for us to kind of discuss some of the different features of Midjourney. So when you type in a prompt, it's going to create four designs for you and you can see them here. And from these four designs, we can use some of these different features here. So U1 through four is gonna be um, upscaling each of these different images. So if we want a higher quality, higher resolution version of one of these, we can click on U1 through U4. And if we want, if let's say we really like one of these, let's say we like number two the best, we can also do V1 through V4. And that's going to create a variation. Um, that's going to create four more variations based off of that one. So let's test it out real quick. Um, I really like the second one here. So we're going to click U2 and that's going to upscale that one for us. 
All right, so it took about probably 45 seconds to a minute, and here is the upscaled version, and you can see this looks really, really cool. Um, if I open it here in the browser, you can see it's a, a bigger version, and this looks really awesome, um, way better than I imagined, and this is something I would honestly print out and put the sticker on my computer. So let's go back to the Discord app, and let's go back to our first design that we created and like I said you can see there's a ton of activity in here so it's gonna take a little while alright so this is back at our original design we created and now let's try out uh, making some variations so let's say we want to make some variations of let's see well I actually like that fourth design as well so let's try to make some variations of the fourth design and it should give us four variations based on that fourth design. All right, so I'll scroll back down and we will let Mid Journey do its thing. Okay, so it finished creating the variations, and you can see all these are pretty similar to each other from what I can tell. Um, but they all clearly go off of that same design and you can see there are some slight differences like how the sun is positioned and the shape of the rock structures this one here has a cactus um, so that's how you can use the variation tool and then if we wanted to what's called re-roll so let's say um, we didn't like the initial four design options it gave or we didn't like how it did this here we can click this and it's basically going to create another um, four variations using the same prompt that we gave it. So I want to try a couple other different styles um, while we are in mid journey and just kind of show off some of the other features. So let's try something else. So let's say imagine I'm going to say a retro gas station logo for a uh, company in Los Angeles and then let's say we want the color orange we want to have a retro style um, 2D logo and let's say white background and let's see what it does all right so these are super cool um really interesting unique designs uh it even included like some palm trees here some mountains um i guess some things that you would maybe think of with california so it pretty much followed exactly what we were asking it to um, there is some kind of interesting distortions here, but if you played around with it a little bit, I think we could clean all of these up. And uh, something that you will notice with Mid Journey is that text is never going to be what you put in. If you do single letters, it seems to work, but for full words, um, at least at this point, it doesn't really give you anything that makes sense. But what you can do is try to replace that text with a tool like uh, Illustrator or Photoshop if you're comfortable with those programs um, and I've even seen some tutorials on YouTube about using Canva to replace text as well so uh, these are some really really interesting designs here and just kind of goes to show some of the ways you could come up with logo concepts and uh, different ideas for that and so I want to do one more style of design and just kind of show you how how many things you can come up with with mid come up with in mid journey like the possibilities are truly endless because you're creating something that never existed or i guess you could say the machine is creating it um but your imagination can really run free and you can come up with so many different ideas so let's try one more i think i wrote down an idea so let's see um all right so i'm gonna try a neon lit 
city street at night. Let's see and add red and let's try New York City. And let's see what we come up with for this. All right, so Midjourney finished creating that. And if you are still here in the video, um, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Um, I'm gonna be putting out a bunch more AI and Midjourney tutorials that you definitely don't wanna miss. And I'm gonna talk about some of the more advanced features too. So um, I would really appreciate your support and you definitely don't wanna miss those. So uh, let's see what Midjourney came up with for our last design here. and. These are all super, super cool. Um, I mean, these look like they could be straight out of uh, a really skilled illustrator's portfolio or um, something that you would see out of a movie scene. Just really cool designs. And so the last thing that I wanna show in this video is um, just how to see all of the different things you've created. Because in these newbie chat rooms, I mean, you can see there's probably been, I mean, it, it could be hundreds if not thousands of messages since we since we first started. So we're gonna go back to um, our browser. And so if you go back to midjourney.com, I'm already signed in here. Um, well, let's see. So yeah, so if you go back to the Midjourney homepage and you click sign in, what that's going to do is take you to your profile. I think the first time you do it, it's going to ask if you want to connect to Discord. So go ahead and say yes and allow that. And then in here, you can see all the different designs that you've created. So here's all the all the different designs we created in this video, some that I created before um, on this same account. And you can also go to the community showcase and you can see some of the designs that other people have created too. And this is just a great way to keep track of the stuff that you've created um, without having to download every single one individually and uh, just see an overview of all the stuff you, you can create. I hope that you found today's video helpful. And if you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell because I'm going to have a ton more AI and mid-journey tutorials and experiments coming up here soon that you definitely do not want to miss. So I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.